In this video, we break down the solution for challenge number five. Uh, it's called Token. And uh, this is part of the series of Eternaut CTF, where we go through all the solutions for Eternaut CTF. So um, stay tuned. And, uh, and we explain all the reasoning behind the um, solution so that uh, you understand it and can do it on your own. So welcome to the Centerwise uh, channel. Uh, my name is Pedro and uh, here we share all things Web3 and blockchain development and security. So if you like this kind of nerdy stuff, just uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, so without further ado, let's go right to Ethernaut. Um, this is Ethernaut. We are going to this um, challenge number five token. So if you don't have your environment set up, go to uh, the first video in this series where we uh, show how to set up MetaMask and uh, all the um, uh, good things. And uh, also you have to open your, um, open your uh, console in the browser so that you can interact with uh, the challenges. So if you don't, uh, you, you are not sure how to uh, do all this, uh, check the first video in the series. So token, let's go to the, um, to the level. Here we are. And so we are um, in this level, we have a token and um, we have to hack it. That's cool. Cool stuff. So um, we are given 20 tokens to start um, and uh, we need to get our hands on additional tokens, preferably a very large amount. Cool. Sounds fun, right? So let's check um, the contract. So what we, do we have here? We have a token and that token has a mapping of balances. Cool. So and the total supply. Um, and in the constructor, we pass the amount of tokens to have uh, initially, and they are sent all to the creator of the token. So um, then there is a function transfer uh, that transfers tokens to another owner. So what does it check? It checks that um, the balances of message sender minus the value that we are transfer should be greater or equal to zero. Okay, then the balance is updated and the balance of the new owner is updated. Okay, and we are in Solidity version 6. It's fun, right? Um, and the function balance off returns the balance of the owner uh, that we pass in. So this is, this seems like cool right but it is not why exactly because of the solidity version we are in solidity version 6 and in solidity version 6 we don't have um safe math and the contract is not using safe math library from open zeppelin so um and is not checking the bounds of the values so what happens here is that um, if we pass a value greater than the value that we have, we will have an even greater value, uh, which is the, um, uh, the um, overflowed v uh, value, right? So um, it will pass this require because it overflowed and we will get uh, an insane amount of tokens. So let's do it. Let's try it out. So let's f uh, first get a new instance to play with. Okay, confirm. There we go. We have our instance, exactly. And now we can check what's happening. Let's check uh, await contract dot balance of layer. Do it so that it appears as a human readable thing to drink. Okay, we have 20 tokens and the S0 and the level level as those tokens. <laughs> so, uh, so the initial value was 21 million 
and now we have 20 and the rest is in the deployer right so let's try let's do a wait contract dot transfer transfer so two let's transfer to whatever let's transfer to um, level one us because we can and we send instead of 20 let's send 21 there we go and boom transaction went successful that's what we wanted to to get right so we send we send we send 21 tokens out of our 20 tokens let's see our balance right now balance player there we are we have all these tokens and our level now has 21 million and one right so this is it guys so it seems that we passed let's check and boom there we go we passed our our level so what does this uh, mean um we have always to uh, be very uh mindful of the problems with uh unsafe math of ethereum versions prior to version 0 0.8 um uh, ethereum is solidity so uh only after uh, 0 0.8 solidity got uh, automatic safe math on all other versions before uh we have problems with overflows of um, numbers so if we don't use safe math things like this can happen and we can end up having a bunch of tokens uh, when we should have none or minus one right so this is it uh hope you enjoyed uh this uh, challenge it was very easy right uh, we just needed to understand what was going on and uh, define the attack strategy which was very easy so uh hope you enjoyed it and hope you understand what was uh, going on in this uh, in this challenge so if you got value from this video go ahead and press that like button uh, it's free and you can do it down there and uh, also subscribe to our channel because we are sharing a bunch of uh, interesting videos all the time and thanks for watching see you in the next episode cheers bye bye